let's continue with the next measuring instrument which is micrometer we are already aware of micrometer and i am sure that you must have used it for uh, measuring diameter of cylinder for example the accuracy of the micrometer is greater than vernier caliper but micrometer have lower range as compared to vernier caliper micrometers work on the principle of screw and nut and the principle is like this so when a screw is turned through one revolution the nut advances by one pitch distance so what is pitch so if this is the profile of the screw thread then the distance between corresponding points on the neighboring threads is known as speech indicated by small p here okay so when a screw is turned through one revolution the nut advances by one pitch distance that is one rotation of the screw corresponds to a linear movement of the distance equal to the pitch of the thread if the circumference of the screw is divided into n equal parts then its rotation of one division will cause the nut to advance through pitch by n length so what this means is that if let's say for example if that is the screw and to this the thimble is attached you should be aware of this word the thimble actually should be bigger than the screw nut lesser than sorry uh, so to this let's say this thimble is attached and roughly you know how this uh, construction of micrometer is so you have this spindle here side and then it's attached to a frame basically is attached to a frame so it needs another color to represent the frame okay this is like this there is a frame and this has a u shaped so that's how roughly a micrometer looks like so this can move linearly while uh, this is fixed on the left side the support is fixed okay so when we rotate this uh thimble by one revolution this uh what we call it as a spindle this part is known as spindle so this spindle will advance by a distance of of p linearly towards the anvil so it depends upon direction of rotation so if in the opposite direction it may move away from this anvil so this is the anvil away from this anvil okay but essentially uh, what we have to understand is with one revolution of spindle sorry with one revolution of spindle uh the uh, sorry one revolution of thimble the spindle moves one pitch distance linearly okay so this is the principle and this means that if this let me erase so, so if this thimble is divided into circular division and there are n such divisions then that means that uh, the rotation of one division will cause the nut to advance through pitch by n division so if we rotate this thimble by a distance between the two neighboring divisions then the linear movement will be p by n if the revolution is 1 by n so this is the meaning okay so it is simply equal to dividing that equation by n okay so if we cause the thimble to rotate by 1 nth 
revolution then the spindle will move linearly by a distance equals to p by n so this is the meaning then let me erase this is not required so i hope you have understood what is the meaning of uh, the, the principle of micrometer okay the minimum length that can be used to measure in such case will be pH by n and by increasing number of divisions on circumference the accuracy of the instrument can be increased considerably okay so if we go on increasing the number of divisions which we call as circular scale division we can increase the accuracy of the instrument because then p by n will always be the minimum linear distance traveled by the spindle and then this distance will be the minimum reading minimum value that can be measured by using micrometer then next is uh, least count so least count is given by smallest division on main scale divided by total number of divisions on circular scale for example if smallest division on main scale is 0.5 mm and there are total 50 divisions on the circular scale then the least count of such a micrometer will be 0.01 mm there are three types of micrometer outside micrometer for measuring outside features inside micrometer for measuring in inside features and depth gauge micrometer so depth gauge micrometer is very equivalent to uh, vernier depth gauge outside micrometer is used for measuring outside diameter length and thickness of small parts so this is the picture of an outside micrometer and the several parts of the micrometer are labeled on this picture so uh, starting from the frame so this is a frame this is a u shaped frame and uh, at the left end of this frame there is anvil and this anvil is fixed it doesn't move and on the right side of the frame there is a bush through which this spindle is passed this spindle is capable of moving linearly through the bush then to the spindle on the right side of the spindle a screw and nut assembly is facilitated for rotating this thimble okay so this is a thimble on the spindle actually this is known as a barrel so on the at the right end of this spindle there is a barrel so this is a barrel okay on this barrel there is main scale and immediately in the vicinity of the barrel we have thimble so this is a thimble okay so this thimble is like a pipe and that thimble can be rotated and on this thimble we have a circular scale okay then there is a locking device so this is a locking device here so which is used for locking the linear movement of the spindle at the extreme right end of the thimble we have ratchet that ratchet is used for fine uh, adjustment of the spindle so this is a frame and this is a u shaped frame and the faces of the spindle and anvil are carbide taped so let us go through each of those parts so first one is u shaped or c shaped frame the frame of the micrometer permits measurement of cylinder of diameter equal to or less than the measuring range of the micrometer the stiffness of the frame should be such that a test load of 1 kg weight does not alter the distance between anvil and spindle 
the frame is generally made of steel cast steel malleable cast iron or light alloy it has understood that coefficient of light alloy is appreciably greater than that of steel or iron and thus the temperature changes during handling of micrometer frame may result in appreciable changes in zero reading in case of light alloys the gap of the frame decides the maximum diameter or length of the job to be measured so this is the gap of the frame should clean everything here okay so this gap decides the maximum diameter or length of the job to be measured a heating a heat insulating handle provides age of finger gripping so it should be remembered that the uh, person who is handling the micrometer if the temperature of the hand is sufficient to cause the expansion then there might be error in zero of this uh, of the micrometer and one more thing is when anvil and spindle are touching each other so if this is the position of the spindle such that uh, it touches the anvil on the left side then on the main scale as well as sorry the main scale should read zero and the zero of the circular scale should align the main scale okay then next part is carbide tipped anvil and spindle the micrometer has a fixed anvil and it is located at 3.5 mm from the left hand side of the frame so roughly this distance is 3.5 mm the diameter of the anvil is same as that of spindle with exact alignment of their axis so which means that uh, the diameter of anvil is same as that of diameter of spindle sorry i have not drawn this correctly so diameter of anvil equals to diameter of spindle and this is the alignment the anvil is accurately ground and lapped with its measuring face flat and parallel to the measuring face of spindle the carbide tipped anvil guarantees extreme precision and ensures long lifetime of the instrument the anvil is rigidly fixed to one left end of the frame and it is also made up of hardened steel like spindle the spindle is movable measuring face with the anvil on the front side and it is engaged with the nut so we have a spindle here and the spindle is engaged with the nut on its uh, back side or right side the spindle should run freely and smoothly through its length of travel there should not be any backlash between the screw and nut and at the time of full reading full engagement of the nut and screw must be possible when the spindle face is touched with anvil face the zero of the micrometer must match with the reference line on the main scale and the thimble is required to be set at zero division on the main scale if this condition is not satisfied the corresponding reading gives the value of zero present in the instrument known as zero error okay then next part is locking device a locking device is provided on a micrometer spindle to lock it in the exact position so this enables correct reading without altering the distance between the two measuring faces thus retaining the spindle in perfect alignment then next is barrel so uh, this is barrel so this is barrel barrel has a fixed engraved graduation marks on it and is provided with satin chromium finish for glare free reading the graduations are above and below the reference line the upper graduations are of 1 mm interval and are generally numbered in multiples of 5 lower graduations 
are also at 1 mm interval but are placed at the middle of two successive upper graduations to enable the reading of 0.5 mm so this will be clear in lab demonstration the next part is thimble it is a tubular cover or camouflage connected and integrated with the spindle of the micrometer when the thimble is rotated the spindle moves in forward or reverse axial direction now if this is the thimble then this thimble can be moved either in that sense of rotation clockwise or counter clockwise sense of rotation and in response to the rotation of the thimble this spindle moves forward or reverse linearly the conical edge of the spindle is divided into 50 equal parts as shown in uh, the picture here then next is ratchet ratchet is provided at the end of the thimble it controls the pressure applied on the workpiece for accurate measurement so this is the ratchet and it helps in maintaining the standard conditions of measurement it is a small extension of the thimble when the spindle reaches near the work surface which is to be measured the operator uses ratchet screw to tighten the thimble the ratchet gives a clicking sound when the workpiece is correctly held and slips thereafter preventing damage of the spindle tips so those were the main parts of the outside micrometer uh, instruction for the use of outside micrometer will be given through a video of self demonstration okay so i will send a youtube uh, video link on the google classroom in the same session of linear measurements go through it for how to use outside micrometer